Hello YouTube, we're going to make you a Friday video and uh, I just wanted to go over a few things before we get started. Um, first of all, my eye is doing better. Today is actually Wednesday, we're filming your Friday Eve video on Wednesday, so tomorrow, which will be Friday Eve, yes. I'm going to go back to the eye doctors and he's going to check everything and see how it's doing. Uh, I wanted to make something clear, I guess everybody thought that I got hurt on the job my retina detached for no reason. Uh, the doctor said the same thing. He has no reason why it happened, but it did happen. It had nothing to do with safety glasses. It had nothing to do with safety. Uh, we do take safety very serious here. Yes, we do. And uh, also, someone wanted to know what a saw bit was. Well, here is what's left of the saw bit. Uh, this is a Simon's Dominator. And someone had argued about Piper's saw bits are no good. Uh, I ran, we ran Pipers for 12 years oh, yeah. we and we never had, we had never had one of these rip out ever. So um, that is what happened there. And also a, a special thanks to Pete, Nuts 319. Mm -hmm. He come up here uh, last, <coughs> last Saturday when we were sawing and we have an, a big oak log for you tonight. We're going to quarter salt. We never quarter salt a log on this mill ever. No. And it was 40 inches at the big end, and I think it was 36 inches at the small end. And we're going to cut quarters, so we're going to try that for this video. And uh, other than that, uh, just want to thank everybody for all the concern. And um, I'll keep you updated on how my eyes doing. But it did not happen with an accident, and uh, the doctor couldn't tell me why it happened. So. Other than that, mom, mom told me to tell you if you can't play nice with the other, with the boys, that uh, you should just go play by yourself. Oh, well, Grandma that's, said that. That's what she oh. told me. You get a black eye. Yeah, I got yeah, a black eye. Oh you. my! That's so. from mom. All right. Well, well, we ain't getting her done like this. So we're gonna start from the beginning as we're quartering the saw or the log up with the chainsaw, and then we'll get to the, where we're actually sawing it on the carry. So let's get going. Let's go. Monster White Oak. Hopefully this girl's filling up to it. Did you say that thing might weigh? Oh, it's got to be oh four or five thousand pounds. Wow. That's a log. Yeah, that's a big. That's a big alligator. I'm gonna get straight in on it, so I'm not articulated, but I'll pick it. That's our target right there. Yeah, you don't want to be articulated when you're picking up a heavy amount of log like that. It's got to be 4,000 pound anyway. And Pete's gonna. Split this thing for us. Well, hopefully that tire's got enough air in it. We're gonna find out for sure. Definitely some weight there. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Just wanna keep it low to the ground. You have to be a little careful making that turn into the uh, yeah loader. It's a little bit of a slope there. Yes it is. Just gonna put it down a little bit lower. Yep. Yeah these skid steer didn't want no parts of this. I can see why. Nuts 319's on the scene. And we're making you a video of the most monstrous log that we ever really fooled with. So 
get some skids under it. We checked it with the metal detector. We did find four screws. And Pete's going to use this as a straight edge to follow to get a score cut in here. And uh, while well, ZZ's securing us, hey Pete, what kind of what kind of saw are you going to run on this thing just to split this? 372 Husky, the best one made in my opinion. So anybody I mean, watching? I'd like I'd like to split it with the 395, but I don't have it. But for my everyday felling, I use that saw. So yeah, we're gonna, and what, what's the small end here, Ed? Uh, 36 inches. Okay, 36, and what are we down here? 39. 39, okay. So Pete's gonna get up on there and- uh, Work his magic. He's gonna work his magic on this thing. And you guys are gonna have a sort of a fast forward video. This could take a little while. All right, what Pete's doing now, we hung a plumb bob on there, and that's going to be we'll his, that that's going to be his plumb easy. cut down through the log. Let's go on this side. This side will be a little more tricky, but we'll get it. Come back. Come yeah, you want to come out where it free, hang, freely hangs. A little bit. Okay, right there. That move. There you go. Now it's time for chainsaw action. So that'll just get me close. As close as I'm going to get for what I'm doing. Now obviously we're going to square all this up after with the, the head rake. Yeah. We'll get some nice quarter sawing in the center and some plain saw on the outside.
his side so she don't go too far. There's something in there making that metal detector not like it. Alright, everybody stay off. Yeah. Away from these sides. She gonna roll. Oh yeah. I'm probably off a little bit on my cuts. That's what you call wood split. Why is this guy rent a log split? That's grainy. See that grain does this. That's where it goes to a bit zigzag. Get the metal detector. Watch your head there, Pete, right behind you. Yeah, I don't see any black stain in it. You no, see uh -uh. boy, look at that quarter saw. There's gonna be some beautiful quarter saw coming out of this thing. Yep, this will be some interesting sawing. But yeah, here's uh, here's the other half where we had found the metal originally, and there it is. So 
All right. A little bit of sawing to do now. All right, let's get this sawing portion of this video going. And Eddie's going to get the old bus motor going here. And I'm going to unplug my fan. It's actually, we are the 30th of August. And um, we're going to need to open up these knees fairly wide. And I don't know how I'm going to load these things. So uh, we're in uncharted water, everybody. Um, we're going to figure this out together. belts are vibrating good there there we go so my camera's sort of sitting crooked out there so let's see what happens here my truck. Zizi's going to go get Donnie. And we're going to save these first couple boards off. I'm going to make sure he didn't, okay, he didn't move it out enough to interfere here. Now there's your quarter sawn right there, everybody. So we're going to go back, we're going to take a full set and see how straight this thing keeps coming out. with you here. All right, we're back. 
back. And I just wanted to bump that set works up a little bit to see where we're at. Let me just come up to that blade, make sure that we're all right. Let me see if I got my little tape measure in the cab here. Let me just take a look at that. That looks more like it. All right. Yeah, when we're adjusting for different thicknesses, we do different orders. Um, so we adjust the set works up and down. That looks more like four quarter to me. And that's what happens. And we're gonna do is we're gonna get we're gonna get uh, quarter sawing, we're gonna get rift sawing, and we're gonna get plane sawing on the same exact log. So we're not gonna take this thing off, rotate it end to end. It's just not gonna happen. And I try to keep the saw parked or the log parked there so I don't get um, Eddie jammed in there. We're still looking like we're getting flecking. Let's go for one more. And one guy says, why don't you finish your sentences? Well, you sit in this cab for one log and try to concentrate on what the heck's going on. You got Eddie down there, you got fingers involved. I'm sorry. All right. So let's. I'm still seeing some nice rays in there. Let's go ahead and take one more. We still got a decent chunk of wood on there. We don't want to run it into the saw very heavy fast. See, by rice right now, what you should do is take this log completely off the carriage, rotate it end for end, and put it back on. And we're not going to do that. I'm still seeing some nice quarter saw ray in there. So we're going to run it down. Pretty soon I'm going to have to resort to another face. We'll get it on the back end of that. Beautiful. Simply the words I can use. All right. Let's make some sense of what we want to do here. To make sure these tapers are sucked back. A little shout out to Mac Yoakum. Um, he felt that he wasn't. Uh, I got a piece of. I got to go out and get some bark here, so I'll be right with you here, buddy. taking my stick. Who could that be? Alright, we're going to do we're going to try to just give it up. I don't know if I'm going to use Chewy or just the little arms. Very hard. 
hard to turn something like this. I can edge off of here. Alright, let's just see where we end up with there. As long as we can get a board off of there. This will be playing song. I didn't go enough there, but again, you can't put it back on. I'm just going to start running them down anyway. And I'm sure someone has a better way to do this. Everybody. We're going to end up with a dog board anyway. I'm going to move them dogs in. Let me see if I got enough room. Yeah, they seem to be holding. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to saw down to my normal inch and a half, two inch, whatever I end up with. It's just going to have a bad cut on the back side, but... It seems to be riding the carries very nicely. And we'll start getting back into this quarter song here very shortly. It's probably one of the nicest white oak logs we have ever had. So we figured we'd, we'd try something different. It's too big to put on the carriage to make a stop sign out of it. So Pete was out at the mill. Yeah, I see what's going on there. We're overhanging pretty bad on that back. Alright, let's make sure we still got a good hold of it. So Pete decided that hey, it's a shame. Oh that cracked. That whole log cracked. Okay, we got a big problem. Shut the blade off. Well, you got to witness something that we didn't expect. Where, where the chainsaw come through. I'm gonna try to get it back, but I still got a little bit of hydraulics left. okay does stay calm <laughs> again uh, where, where the chainsaw had come through that when he was yeah let's let me let me come down here ready and then here it is everybody see where the chainsaw come down through we got a cut there you are we got a little sorry about that but right here with a chainsaw come through on an angle, I wasn't expecting that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start the blade back up so I can undo the dogs. That's good. Get the blade spinning it, I'm gonna wind the knees open. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to open this up and then we'll get that out. Yeah, if you want to grab that from the other side, Alex. So, here's all we do. Alex showed up. So, simple as that. And I will play Chewy. All right. 
What did we learn here, everybody? All right, Alex is out of the way. Let's go take this back to Eddie. kind of stuff does happen you got to see it so let's get our our quarter of a victim how's that sound we don't have full victims I gotta do something about this camera too while we're so let me do something here real quick nothing about it right now. So we run the chains forward a little bit again. And hello son. We're just making us a video. You can leave the door open. So I'm gonna try to fling this thing. Oh come on. see if Chewy will help. Get down there with the hook, I guess, Eddie. There's a hook down the other side of the track. Yeah. I think he's going to get down there. Uh, square edge first. So let's 
Let's see what Mr. Laser says here. Let's get a face open on this uh, other side here. Kind of plain song. Still has some porter in it. Let's roll another one off of there. That's still giving us an opportunity for a 15 and a half inch wide board, so we're doing all right. All right, now let's make the magic happen here with the quarter song. So what I'm going to do, park right where I get between the two blocks. She's going to rock a little bit, everybody, but we'll be all right. There's where we pulled the screws out, if you see the... Um, let me pump my tape wrap a little bit. I just want it to come forward equally. We gotta clean his face up, so let's see. Just don't get too greedy. Might have got too greedy. But there's your quarter song right there. That was in the pith. I hope that goes away. We had pulled some screws out earlier, Alex. Oh, yeah. I must be bad luck when I showed up. It's like, no. Oh, oh, bad thing. We knew we were getting into. Yeah, this log was big. There's a lot of cracking going on. Kind of not liking what I'm seeing there. I'm hoping that we get through this pith. What order is it for? Uh, Eddie got this sold already. Uh. enough to work with. Let's just get back to that front face again. Well, I sure would like to be able to get some of that off, but I don't know if I can. Now, nah, I don't got enough leaning on there yet. up 
and see where we're at. It's coming out pretty even now. Let me cut that taper out of it. That just about did it. that face maybe one more board off it'll still give us some nice quarter song gonna be over 10 inch wide boards I'm gonna get rid of that bark face and I'm gonna go back to the face that's rough and peel off some nice quarter song on the back side of that so here we go I can turn up here, I got more bulk up here now. Little boom. So we're gonna have a little bit of a auto square situation here too to get rid of. I gotta get rid of that mark, no matter what I do. This is just, this is why I don't quarter saw. Very wasteful method. I just want to get rid of that bar. So I have something to set this on. up is what I'm interested in right now. That's what I'm trying to... Alright. I'm going to try something here. Seems to be working. Are we tight to the knees? Okay. situation at the end. If you can see how it's tapered, we're going to get rid of that. Let's try that. We don't want to waste too much. Get rid of all that chainsaw. Now, ah, look at that quarter saw. That was the mission right there. It doesn't seem like that crack's going to follow it back. If you don't think that's pretty, I don't know. that is huh? cracks are starting to come back of course we are getting down to the end here that old blades are ringing Maybe the last board off. Yep.
catch everybody at the end. All right, there is one half of a log. That was a big log. And uh, this video pretty much proves why we do not quarter saw. <laughs> and a circle mill is, it, it's not a good mill to quarter saw. And look, look at this right here. We, Alex set this back up for us. And if you look at where the chainsaw head went down, where Pete was uh, trying to crack that log open in the beginning. And uh, when I turned that back so I could peel off good boards out front, you see how fast things can go wrong. And um, yeah, there it is. Also, while we're on the lumber, Paul Bunyan, and there it is. It's coming up, it's the 6th through the 8th of October. We will be there. We will be selling boom signs and t-shirts, and we will personally sign them for you. That's right. And um, that's, that's one of the ones, uh, what do we have, Terry, Terry and Brian. Yeah, we, we, signed, we signed the two winners, uh, so they'll, we'll be getting them up to the post office in the mail there. And uh, yeah, it's, all they have to do is pay shipping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no we wouldn't. We wouldn't do that. So, yeah. okay, everybody. Hey, thanks for coming along. And uh, we made it to sixty-nine thousand subscribers as of now. And uh, si yeah, it was a sixty-nine two. I didn't check wow. it today, but uh, yeah, we're we're growing there. And uh, so I will give you an update on my eye and. Uh, Tomorrow, which is Friday Eve, ZZ is going to be my CNI dog, and he's going to take me down there because he's going to dilate my eyes again, and he'll have to lead me out of there. So, okay, everybody, we'll catch you on the next video. We're sawing up the last of that uh, oak log, and uh, we got other stuff to do. So, yeah. we'll Something. catch you then. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.